Hey traders and investors, it's George Berger here. You might have heard that uh, Yahoo's stake uh, in Alibaba basically now values Yahoo at uh, just around nothing uh, or actually less. In other words, that the only uh, thing that the, the price of Yahoo currently the stock press represents right now is basically uh, the it's uh, the value of uh, of Alibaba that it owns, uh, which of course uh, you know makes an interesting uh, argument for buying the stock. So um, that's the news. Let's have a look at what the the charts might be telling us here uh, that we could do, and in particularly how we might be able to manage some risk around these levels. So if you look at the stock, uh, sort of through a uh, multi-year lens, you can see obviously a big long ascent that then uh, essentially led to this triangle formation where the stock broke out of in, uh, in this, uh, this past August. And the stock rallied very strongly into the Alibaba IPO, not surprisingly so. Uh, at the same time though, the stock basically staged a breakout fakeout move uh, as it cracked above the January highs uh, and then quickly reversed back lower. So uh, that's just the big picture and that basically kind of now puts the stock back in sort of neutral territory in the sense that it's back into this big, big consolidation phase that it spent most of this year in. So what's interesting now, however, is that the stock from a near-term perspective and particularly considering the fact that it's now valued at nothing, uh, the, the, the actual um, the actual value of, of Alibaba or of Yahoo itself, uh, not including the its stake in, in Yahoo, in Alibaba, I should say, basically now bring, brings it back to this confluence of, of support, of supporting and rising, moving average is 50, 100, and 200 days. So from my point of view, what I would be looking for here is some sort of a bullish reversal candle uh, where we can then sink our teeth into and get the stock moving back into, let's say, the low uh, the low, the very low 40s. So the stock hasn't done this just yet, but it is getting a bit of a bounce here right now as I speak here on this Tuesday, uh, September 23rd. What I, what I would love to see is for the stock to sort of close somewhere above no, at 3950 or something like that, uh, which then might be offering us a bit better risk reward for the stock to, to bump higher into the 41 or so area. I hope this makes sense, guys. As always, if you got any questions, you can hit me up on Twitter. My Twitter handle is. Steady Trader, and I'll see you in the next video.